BMW drops its top, GM dashes hopes for a new station wagon, and hauling a bunch of crap from Home Depot may soon be a bit more fun. What's up? I'm Derek, not in Detroit, and this is Fast Lane Dale. This week, car watchers had both eyes, or all three if you're a mutant toad, on the Detroit Auto Show. Now, that's a fake, but the laser sharp focus means you may have missed a long awaited new BMW. It's the new M3 convertible, and BMW released new photos and information after press photos leaked to BMW forums. The M3 convertible shares the same high revving 4 liter V8 as the coupe, but instead of a carbon fiber roof, it gets the same retractable hardtop hardware as its lesser 3 series sibling. That means an extra 450 pounds dragging on the V8's 420 horsepower. The convertible also introduces BMW's new dual clutch auto manual transmission DCT. That system replaces BMW's SMG switchgear, the new system. No word yet on the price, but figure on selling either the racehorse or the condo in the south of France to afford it. And if you'd rather have a roof and some cargo space, you may have to stick with SUVs. General Motors Chairman Bob Lutz says you could forget about a new station wagon. Wagon fans had gotten their hopes up after seeing the Holden Commodore Sport Wagon. That's the Australian-built rear-drive wagon that might have launched a station wagon renaissance in the U.S. But as Lutz told Australian reporters this week, GMB encounters say the market for wagons just isn't large enough. Wagon fans had been hoping for a version of the new Pontiac G8 GT to compete with the Audi Avant models and replace the existing Dodge Magnum. But sadly, broken are their little wood-paneled hearts. Let's just have a moment of silence. Next up, go get your mullet and sideburns wig ready. The pickup car may be coming back. That's an internet rumor mill right after this, that, and this, and uh, it's like that, it's like this, it's like that, and uh, it's like this. We got so much love for y'all, so just chill to the end of the episode that will help change people's lives. Are you bringing any weapons? Of course not. You're not changing anything. Rambo, rated R. In theaters January 25th. Derek Lee is my favorite host. What are your balls cut off? What about Andrea Feshko, Matt Farah, Mike Spinelli? Sniff my ass. Derek D is funny. Oh, go hump a leg. Derek D's a jerk, you son of a bitch. Who are you calling son of a bitch, bitch? Derek D. Andrea Feshko. I said Derek D. I said Andrea Feshko. Derek D. Well, it's that time of the week again. Commenter of the week time. This week's comment comes from YouTuber Nico Savage 2 who says, Derek, seeing as you aren't a 47-year-old soccer mom who lives in the suburbs, you don't need a Cayenne. Honestly, I will think less of you as a person if you get one. To Nico Savage, I say, well, maybe I want to be a soccer mom. Wait, wait that, that doesn't sound right. Anyway, farmers call it a party in the front, but all business in the back. Of course, there's no reason not to throw a party in the back, too. That's right, we're talking about the old Chevrolet El Camino. Pickup cars just like it never went out of style in Australia, but now a new version could be coming back to the States. Where it is, GM is planning to bring the Australian-built Holden Ute to the U.S. as a new GM model. No word yet on which GM division would get the car, but insiders say expect to see the first glimpse of the U.S.-bound Ute at an auto show later this year. And finally, if you've been camped out at the BMW dealership waiting for your 3 Series or 1 Series to show up, you'd better sit down. More than 70 BMWs were reportedly destroyed in a mishap involving a transport ship at the Port of New Jersey. No word yet on the delays it might cause for customers, but keep an eye on eBay for 2008 BMWs with light damage. Well, that wraps up Fastlane Daily for today. Tune in next week when we start shopping for a cap for our new pickup car and a shotgun for the possums. See you later. Fast Lane Daily is brought to you by Rambo, starring Sylvester Stallone in theaters January 25th.